Welcome back, everybody. I'm at Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust, and we're talking about the Rust console beta for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Or should I say, hey! <laughs> it's really hard for me to do. I think I'm getting sick, or I'm getting over being sick. I'm not sure. So that one, that one hurt a little bit. But <laughs> So we're back here, and um, you know we've been following this for almost a year now, and it's been almost a year until we've heard official word about this console beta that it's still technically going on. So we're going to be talking about the progress for the beta or what I think is going on for the end of October, early November, depending on when this goes up. So uh, there's been a lot of uh, speculation across the board. <coughs> um, and I think even Gary didn't really know when this thing was going to hit because back in February of this year, <coughs> excuse me, he even said he thought it was going to be a handful of months. Well, we're at the end of 2020 almost. And, uh, yeah, where's this thing, man? What's up? So according to the main website that's, uh, well, you can see it at the top, but um, it's rustonconsole.com. Uh, it's still showing this verbiage here, and I think if it was delayed, we would have heard something by now. So with that in mind, uh, you know, if the beta is still going to happen, <coughs> oh, excuse me, so sorry. Holy, hang on a sec. <coughs> Woo. So that hey hey really brings out the um, whew. <laughs> sorry, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I think if it, if there was a delay, we would have heard something by now. All the signage, the verbiage is still saying this year and this console. Now I think these guys, the next generation consoles, do have a part in this. I think because of the delays for the current gen consoles, they're like, well, let's go ahead and kind of merge these. I think that's one of the reasons why this commit list has gone dark for us because of NDAs. Um, they have literally cannot talk about some of those things on the new consoles, and I think that's why since this is a public-facing list, and this isn't the beta version, but since this isn't a, a public list, or this is a public list, they can't necessarily post things. That's why you see things like this down here. Now, I've been digging a lot through the commit list throughout the year, and I've continued to, and I found some interesting things. Um, that's probably going to warrant a video on all in itself if you're interested in the Rust console beta. And we've been following the cookie come trail there. But what all this means is, since we're coming to, or uh, since this is, I think, linked to this, here's, here's my speculation. Here's, here are my thoughts on this. Uh, this is indeed because of the NDA, and they're now doing this parallel to the other version, the current gen consoles. I think that's why maybe that commit list went dark entirely, because as far as we can tell, this did pass some form of certification. And this has been in an active beta for the developers since April, okay? So I think if it was a flop of Roonies, not a flop, but if it was broken, I think w we would have heard something by then. If it was a big performance issue, I think we would have heard, then we'd have been like, hey, here's the new date, yada, yada, yada. I think because this was maybe planned in maybe latest mid this year, and again, I'm speculating here, this is my opinion, I think because it flexed past that, I think this became a viable option to go neck and neck with this. I think these will be pretty close to each other. If one comes up before the other, that doesn't mean this one's going to be neglected. Um, they're both going to come out. I'm sure of it. Like, why wouldn't it come out for next gens, right? Like, they'd be ludicrous. Now, I think the Series X has a better probability of playing the current gen console because of the backwards compatibility out of the box, especially this title, um, it being cross-platform. Like, from what we've gathered, from what we've researched, and again, I'll go ahead and link that video right now in the upper right-hand corner. It's about cross-play between only PlayStation and Xbox. We saw that even back in April. I think I think they got to be close to each other, or if not at the same time. So because this was under such uh, strict NDAs across the board, I mean, look at it. People got the Xboxes and the Playstations, and they weren't allowed to do certain videos for a while. And we're only like just now starting to see it. So I think um, when these come out, I think we're going to hear information about it at some point. Whether it's like, hey, it's coming now, or it's like, hey, there's a delay. Here's another reason why I really think it's still going to happen this year, and it's got to happen soon. Look, Thanksgiving isn't celebrated <laughs> anywhere else except the United States. It would make sense that they could still make a big push here and get something out during the holiday. So, okay, let me back that up even further. So, <laughs> I know this one's all over the place. It would only make sense if this is going to happen still this year. Think about it. <clears throat> If it's still going to happen this year, s at towards the mid to late December is probably not likely. 
right? Probably not likely. Let's be honest. The only reason why you're seeing December 31st, 2020 is because it's the last day of the year and retailers don't know any other date. They'll slide it up when they find out. But here's the deal, right? It's not going to happen on December 31st because that's right after the holidays. That's ludicrous, right? It's not even going to happen a little bit beforehand because people take time off. If you've done anything in corporate America or anything in corporations across the board, you know that things start to die off around Thanksgiving and especially around Christmas time. Whether you celebrate it or not, it's just the way business kind of works. So, you know, um, Face Punch being overseas and whatnot, they're not necessarily going to care or take time off for Thanksgiving. Why would they, right? But they do for Christmas. So if it's going to happen, it's going to be sometime in mid-November. So what? These come out, what, the 10th and like the 15th or something like that of November? It's going to happen anywhere between then and probably, I'm going to just guess, December 15th. I don't think it's going to be much past that because, look, when a beta runs... There is a lot of stuff. There's data collection. There's a, there's a lot of people involved in making that happen. There has to be po people to monitor the data, the servers. Like, there's a reason why the beta is happening. They're testing infrastructure. So knowing how many different types, well, yeah, types of companies, types of teams that are going to be together uh, monitoring that, it doesn't make sense it's going to be during the holidays. I could be completely wrong. And, you know, maybe they've got some grandiose plan for it. And that'd be great if they did. Because let's be honest, honestly... I hope I'm wrong, and I hope this comes out today. All I want is to play this on console. I've been waiting for this for seven years. That's all we want, man. Uh, us and the boyfriend squad, that's that's all we want, man. I mean, I honestly thought this was going to happen back in April. <coughs> you know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> we're ready for this thing. And um, so, yeah, what I think is we're either going to hear information or or we'll know if there's a delay between those those time periods until we hear otherwise from them. Um, I know I've been digging through the commit list, and uh, there's some things I want to share with you. Again, if you're following this project and you are excited about it, I'll go ahead and do that in another video because I don't want to make this one too long. Yeah, we'll leave that for another video, The uh, some of the commit digs that we found so far, which, again, I think are pretty good. But, you know, until then, we'll be playing over on the PC on official. Um, we've been bouncing around there um, just to get a better feel for ourselves, but also for you guys, too, because we only play Vanilla Rust. And, you know, we're playing the version that you guys will most likely be getting. Well, not most likely. You guys will be getting Vanilla Rust, and that's what we play. But I do try to set, like, my graphics settings and stuff to something that the higher-end PS4s or Xbox would be playing at. So, you know, I cap my frames at 60. <coughs> I keep my graphics settings at a certain level to hopefully get us used to and get, get you guys used to this when it does come out. So, fingers crossed, everybody. We're watching close. I'm checking every day. And, uh, you know, checking Gary's tweets, looking for, you know hidden messages and stuff not that there is any but you know what i mean we're just we're so excited for this and i hope you guys are too and if you did find this useful or helpful be sure to drop a like and consider dropping a subscribe if you think it's something you're into as we do play a lot of open world survival and we will most definitely be playing this in the beta on console uh we'll be playing it specifically on xbox but let's be honest since it's crossplay, it won't really matter um you know which console you're on but uh we will be playing over there and we'll also be switching over and playing rust on official over on the Xbox as soon as it comes out for full release. Like, as soon as, and hopefully, fingers crossed, if I get a Series X, I'll be playing it on that, too. So, I mean, even if this isn't coming out technically right away as a PS5 or a Series X version, Series X has reverse compatibility. So we're good, right? So we can play it. But anyways, uh, we've been playing a lot of DayZ and such over on Official 2. We'll be playing that on the Series X when that comes out. <coughs> Again, if everything goes as planned. Jeez, I'm dying over here. <coughs> So, uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video slash live stream. I'm sorry this isn't exactly what you guys wanted to hear this time around, but, you know, we're excited. We're anxious, and I hope you guys are too, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Uh, love you. Bye. Hey, let's take this up. Come on, man. Tell me this game isn't awesome. There's an elevator. Come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. This game is great. Every month it gets better and better. Oops, I should have just done this. <coughs> oh, I know. Before we leave, leave in the comments. What, what system will you be playing on? And are you looking forward to the primitive game on the beach when this does hit beta? Yeah? Put it down there. Put it down there. With the servers being at 100 players per, and with a cross-platform, I think it's going to be great. Okay, bye!